Okay, so I wanted to show you how to set up your files for the HTML5 two-column CSS layout. So here's the page on everything about web, and we want to build a two-column layout, which you can see here shown um, with this gray diagram. And this is basically what our page is going to look like, this everything about web page. Very, very simple. So we're going to start out with our basic HTML tags. So to set up the files, the first thing that you want to do is um, go to your desktop. And you're going to create a folder. And we're going to call it HTML5. Oops. And inside of this folder, we're going to have our final web folder and a source file folder. Okay, great. We're set up. Let's go back to Dreamweaver and uh, let's go back to our web page. So we want to um, basically start out with this. Um, starter code. It's like a template. You, um, you're going to be able to reuse this code over and over. So I'm going to toggle over to um, plain code here and I'm going to select everything and copy it and go back to Dreamweaver and uh, I'm going to pick a, open up a new HTML file with no layout. Just move this down here so you can see it. And I'm going to delete what's there and paste my starter code. So if I toggle over to code, we'll see that uh, this is my starter code that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and save this. This is going to be called index.html and I'm going to save that to my desktop to my HTML5 website folder in my final web. Fantastic. Okay, so now if we go back to um, our everything about web page, notice that we have two CSS files. One is a reset and the other one is a style. So let's go ahead and create those. So I'm going to copy from the reset.css. Go back to Dreamweaver. Um, now I'm going to actually um, open up a new CSS file to create. And I can actually leave that in there. I'm going to paste that. And this we're going to call reset.css. Now this is going to go in our final web folder, but we're going to create a CSS folder for this. So I've created the CSS, I've named it reset.css, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then finally, if we go back here, notice we've got our starter code for our um, CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Um, we're going to be able to reuse this code over and over. Um, you obviously wouldn't need to um, build a um, page from scratch if you're building the same layout over and over. So this is just some starter code that we can use as a template. Oh, let me just delete that. Extra. And this is going to be called style.css and that also gets saved in my CSS folder. Go back to my split view fantastic so now I've got my reset um, CSS and my style.css and my index page all ready to go so just to give you an idea of um, what this will look like let me just hide some of these things And there we go. In our final web folder, we've got our two CSS files and our index page all ready to go.